Hello friends, this video on decimals part 12 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. So now let us see how do we compare decimal numbers. That is if you are given two or more decimal numbers, how would you decide which one is bigger and which one is smaller. So that that's become an interesting thing here. Now we have certain set of rules which will help us to very easily compare decimal numbers. So the first rule says that compare place values of digits from left to right. Okay, let us take examples. So let's say that you have a decimal number 453.61. You have another decimal number 345.61. So if you look at these two numbers, both are decimal numbers, both are made up of the same digits. That is 3, 4, 5, 6 and 1. These are the five digits which make both of these numbers. It is just that the position of the digits have been changed. Now in this case, how we will start comparing the two numbers? We will start comparing the digits the place values of the digits from left to right. So which is the leftmost digit? For this number it is 4, for this number it is 3. And this is the hundreds place, right? This is 1s, 10s and hundreds. So that means the place value of this digit 4 is 400 in this case. And the place value for this digit 3 in this case is 300. Now which is greater? 400 is greater than 300. Therefore this number is greater than 345.61. So basically we start comparing the digits from the left hand side. So let us take more examples. Let's say that uh, we look at this number 453.61 and 453.59. Yeah. So let's start comparing from the leftmost digit. So if you compare the leftmost digit 4 both are same. 5, 5 both are same. 3, 3, both are same. Then we come to 6 and here it is 5. So both are not same. Which is greater? So 6 is bigger than 5. So therefore this number is bigger than the other number. So basically you compare digit by digit and then you decide which one is bigger and which one is smaller. So let, let's look at one more example. Let's say it's 453.61 and on the other side you have 446.89. So which is greater? So you compare the from left to right. So first digit both are equal. Second digit this is 5 this is 4. So obviously 5 is greater therefore this number is bigger. Even though after that you see these digits are great. I mean here 6 here you have 8. So this is bigger. Here you have 1. Here you have 9. This is bigger. But that doesn't matter because we always go from the left hand side and the moment we reach a number or we reach a digit which is like bigger in one of the numbers so that number becomes bigger. So in this case at the second place itself we have decided that this is a bigger number. So we do not even move further after this digit. Okay, so that's our rule number one and this is the most important rule that you have to compare the place values of the digits from left to right. Please remember this. Okay, the next one is extra zeros to the right of the last digit of a decimal does not change its value. What does that mean is 453.6100. If you have a number like this where you have zeros at the end of the decimal that means zeros after the digits if you have zeros like extra zeros to the right of the last digit of a decimal these zeros do not have any value so basically 453.6100 is same as 453.61 and this is same as 453.6100000 so it doesn't matter how many zeros you add at the end of this number, they will not add any value to the number. In fact, they will not change the value of the number. But instead of zero, let's say that if you have, if you write 453.615, so this will not be equal to 453.61. So you cannot ignore five. So 5 has some value so you cannot ignore that but only if it is 0 to at the end of the decimal number then it doesn't alter the value. Perfect. Now let us look at the last rule which says that extra zeros between the decimal point and a decimal digit change its value. Now this is the decimal point and all the digits on the right of the decimal point are referred to as decimal digits. 
Okay, now let's say that if you have a number like this, 453.0615. So in this case, you cannot ignore the zero because the zero lies between the decimal point and the decimal digit. Right? So now if you have a number like this and if you have a number like this, which is bigger? So how will you compare the same way? You start from the leftmost digit, 4, 4, same, 5, 5, same, 3, 3, same. After the decimal point, the first digit here is 6 and the first digit here is 0. You cannot ignore this 0 because it lies between the decimal point and decimal digit. So in this case, this number would be bigger. Similarly, if you have a number like this, 453.6015 and you have here 453.61. So which is bigger? Again, you start from the leftmost digit, 4, 4, same, 5, 5, same, 3, 3, same. Even after the decimal point, 6, 6, same. After that, you have 1 here and 0 here. So 1 is greater, so this is greater. So here also you cannot ignore this zero because it lies between the decimal digits. Only if the zero is located at the end of the decimal digit, then it doesn't add any value to the decimal number and therefore you can ignore those zeros. Thank you. Please visit examfear.com for free quality education. You can learn with a simple four-step learning process wherein you can watch video lessons, you can ask your questions, you can refer notes and you can take a free online test. We have content for class 6 to 12 on physics, chemistry, mathematics and biology along with practical videos. So please subscribe to our channel for daily updates. Thank you.